Her hungry eyes make her so appealing. She was the failed engine of the war machine, but she became the better demon. She was the slick seductress of the linear accelerator, and her tongue slithered so gently on cool metal tubes. She was the crucifier of the oppressive patriarchal matrimony that steered towards oppressive dehumanization. The ultimate dance of mystery had started. Dangerous people were tonguing the subway windows, coveting feminine silhouettes breathing slowly, softly, brazenly evaluating each orgasm for effectiveness, proselytizing the scourge of drug trafficking, all wrapped up and ready to go, vividly blowing kisses. The slaves encased in leather had episodes of tight panic. They were just the receptacles. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. The Asian midget in the New York City MTA uniform read from a clipboard the names of stations on non-existent subway lines. The high nasal voice infected the passages, but those who were encased in animal skin started to twitch. Intimate diaries were extinguished. A privilege for hungry lips only, the background was composed of faded ectochrome taped to the cracked plaster. The editors of Pleasure reconstructed the sound of a distant door closing, accented by a hot stabbing dull thud. She pulled her dress over her head to display the secret markings, etched in electricity, the, di the digital files were processed. Wheezing bulb, hot splintered flash, burnt air tumor memories of the Polaroid SX-70. A violent after smell washed out billboards, recollections of distant serial killers, total radiation exposures. Watch him participate in the back, behind her, in all directions. End of the line. She submitted to the lips of chance and annihilated the touch of skin. Thrilled by building recollections of destroyed families, they had started living inside forests of black glass, one upon the other, on the Coney Island beach at 9 p.m., just as the sun kissed her goodbye. It all fell down again in mid-July. She smiled as she drew sigils in the wet sand, using the tears she had gathered. Red designs of unknown origins were created to be gently washed away. When she had finished, she started once more. The dead are gone, the living must die. I was busted by the hammer of Christianity. This nation has spit on us. America brought us a subjugation. Sexy Sadie spoke a final word, amen. When trapped by the joy of injustice and the lack of remorse, structures frightened her. The sleepwalker had decided to no longer continue as a murder weapon. The humanization was seen in the act of love. The cleric passed by, disappointed in the lack of fucking opportunities. No more victims as he wallowed in memories of past crimes. Mm. Condensed desperation to find their lives, wandering on glass roads creeping. The naked corpse admitted victory as limp figures became praying hands, gazing lovingly at targets. She was the failed engine of the war machine, but she became the better demon, gazing longingly at targets. Mm. This next one's called The Pleasure Principle. At the far end of the field that was covered in ebony grass, she stared at the sun to seek relief. Walking through fluorescent blades, she left muddy footprints bathed in light. At the far end of this field, she came upon three females engaged in a chess game. She came upon different scenes of amorous finger counting, causing pain to subside. Drive me to the beach so I may finish our prayers under a perforated violet sky. She sighed as figures froze. She frowned as a slight breeze kissed her and caused the secrets to evaporate. Quivering photographs were pushed slowly into random mazes that slid towards dawn until she couldn't speak words anymore or construct empty images on blank surfaces. Drive us to the beach so we may complete our love. Thank you.